Hello, long time no see, homegirls. Welcome back to my channel. Now, homegirls, y'all probably have been wondering where I have been, and honestly, maybe you haven't even been worrying where I've been. I don't even know, but let me tell you, God has been working on me, okay? He's been working on me. And I really felt like I could not start 2024 off. I couldn't start my content creator journey for 2024 off without making this video. And so today we're going to talk about the power of stillness. I'm still trying to understand when God is calling me to a place of stillness. The reason why I feel inclined to talk about it now is because the past three months, I feel like I, God was calling me to a place of stillness. And essentially, I just felt like God was literally looking at me and going, Shh. Hush, girl, hush, okay? And I just felt like I couldn't do anything. I couldn't make any YouTube videos. I couldn't say anything. I wasn't really posting on any social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, nothing. I just wanted to be still and listen to what God was saying to me. That season was very necessary and I don't think I understood why God put me in a season of stillness until now. So I consider myself very much a control freak, okay? I like to be in control of everything. I like to know when it's happening, why is it happening, who gonna be there, uh, what do we need to bring, like what's going on. I like to know everything. I like to be in control of everything, have my hand in everything, especially as it pertains to my own life. I'm not really a control freak when it comes to other people's lives, but when it comes to my life, I'm definitely a control freak. I want things to happen the way that I want them to happen. So I'm very much a person who likes to do things my own way, on my own time. I mean, it's even a running joke with my dad's side of the family where they say, oh yeah, Naya don't care. <laughs> she goes, she, Naya do whatever she wants to. She don't ask nobody for their opinion or anything because I've always felt confident in my ability to make decisions for myself in my own life. Now the problem with that is the more you amplify your own voice and your own thoughts, the less that you are listening to God's thoughts and what he is trying to guide you to do. And I'm not on here to preach or nothing like that. I'm just on here to give y'all my testimony, okay? Yeah, I'm giving y'all my testimony and then y'all do with that what you will. But the more that I would try and convince myself that certain things were for me, certain opportunities were for me, certain jobs were for me, certain career paths were for me, the more that I tried to convince myself, try to force it to happen, the more that I feel like I was not listening to what God actually wanted me to do or what he was calling me to do. Obviously, that is a big, big problem. And so I did this for a long, long time, which is the reason why I feel like 2023 didn't turn out how I thought it was going to turn out. Okay, it, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing like I thought it was going to be. And that's because God was trying to show me like, now listen, girl, you ain't a good listener. You ain't been listening all year. So now I'm gonna put you in a position to where you have to listen to where you literally are forced to listen. And I feel like that's the season that he put me in in the second half of 2023. And when God placed me in this season of stillness, obviously whenever you're being still, things become more clear to you. You start listening to God more, you start praying more, you start being just in tune with you, what's going on around you and your relationship with God. And let me show y'all something that I came across while I was in my season of stillness. And you know, this actually touched me so much to the point to where I even sent this to my mom and was like, wow, I really just received this message. Let me read it to you all right now. You are in a season where God is trying to humble you, not to punish you, but to prepare your heart for where he wants to take you. It is in the state of being humble where you can learn to lean on God more instead of yourself. It's now. He is teaching you to learn from past mistakes so that you will not repeat them again. Many of you are thinking, I am already humble. But God is saying, what you think is humility has actually been pride. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
You have been trying to do things your way all of your life, but now he wants you to let him take control of the wheel. God has been showing you that certain people aren't for you, certain opportunities aren't for you, and he has been trying to redirect your path, but your pride continuously gets in the way. Your pride always makes you think you are right, but humility allows you to accept that he is right. I feel like I'm getting aggressive with my words, but like, do you, do you hear this? Hold on. Humility allows you to receive wisdom and instruction from God without doubting his direction for your life. God wants you to seek first to understand instead of constantly interrupting his plan. You have been overly confident all of your life thinking you know what's best, even when all of the signs were clear as day. God wants you to spend more time listening, observing, and learning how to do things his way instead of always wanting to be seen and heard. He has seen you do what you want to do almost all of your life. He has heard you make many excuses when you have made wrong choices. Now he wants you to listen and learn from him. This is the season where the Lord is suppressing your ego so that he can help you grow. You have always tried to be the smartest person in the room, even when you were inexperienced and not equipped to handle the battles he has had to save you from due to the choices you have made. God says, I just need you to trust me for once and stop trying to control the outcome of everything. Faith without works is dead, and although you can't see what I'm doing right now, remember that Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You can't see what I'm doing, but you can trust that I'm doing something big for you. Y'all, I read that and I was like, I, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. From that point, I mean, I already kind of knew that something was up because I just didn't have the motivation to do much of anything. I just really felt like things weren't going my way at all. And you see, one of my problems was, let me just be real, because I'm very open on this channel about things that I go through and things that I feel, so I'm not gonna change that now. So financially, I know I show y'all pictures of my wedding all the time, but financially, that wedding was super duper expensive. I love it, it was beautiful, I had a great time, but it was super expensive, so it really had an impact on me and Rico financially. On top of that, I said in a previous video that the job market in El Paso so it was just really, really bad. I could not find a position in El Paso in my field to save my life. It wasn't until the end where now y'all kind of know where I end up because I've already posted a video about job offers and things like that. But it wasn't until the end of 2023 where I realized how much God was actually trying to humble me. I mean, when I graduated from college, I was on top of the world. Whenever we had started planning that wedding after he proposed, and then all that money started, okay, so we had to start paying all that money. And then my inability to find a job on the same level as the one that I had back in 2021, we really, really felt the repercussions of that. So financially, I think a lot of people were struggling in 2023, but I'm just here to tell you I was one of them people, okay? I'm not gonna be cute on this channel or nothing. I'm gonna let y'all know the real. I feel like at the end of 2023, God really pushed me to into a season of gratefulness. I feel like I would be like, oh, I don't have this. I don't have this job. I don't have this money or whatever. I would always focus on the things that I didn't have and I wouldn't focus on the things that I did have. And I feel like pretty much all of the second half of 2023, Jesus was just trying to shake me and literally get me to understand you are rich in other ways. And it wasn't until he got me in that season of stillness where I, where I understood that. It's like, okay, this wedding has really did a number on us. I can't really find a job that is in the pay range that I'm used to operating in. But look at what I do have. Look at how I still have a roof over my head. Look, look at how I still have a supportive husband. Look at, look at how my family is still okay. Look at how my mother, I get to talk to her every single day about the things that I'm going through. Look at how I have these two degrees. Look at how I have the ability to still live a normal and fulfilling life even though I don't have a job. Look, I, I, I mean, I was overlooking so many things. I think in some ways I had placed my value on how well my career was going. God has really made me realize that my value lies in how well connected I am to him. 
how how well connected I am to the Father, to the Creator, and I was too busy focusing on the fact that I didn't have a high paying job to realize that or to understand that and now I'm just operating in such a different space than I was before and humility really is I mean all of us can say that we're humble but humility really is so pure humility is so gentle so my message for you today I'm just this is going to be my first video of 2024 and I wanted to make sure that I spread this message. My message for you today is never underestimate God's ability to humble you. Okay, never underestimate God's ability to humble you because just when you think you got to start smelling yourself, just when you think you got it figured out more than he got it figured out, okay, that's when it's coming. Never underestimate God's ability to humble because he'll humble you real fast and you won't even see it coming. You'll have whiplash um, trying to figure out where it came from. So if you feel like nothing is going right, everything is falling apart, every plan that you have or every idea that you have is not coming to fruition. Opportunities ain't knocking on your door like you thought they were. A certain career path that you thought was for you ain't working out. Really take a second to to think about everything that has happened leading up to that point and just take the time to recenter yourself with God y'all really just take the time to recenter yourself with God and figure out is this truly what he wants for me or is this just what I've convinced myself that I want for myself God knows your purpose Jesus knows your purpose he knows what reason he placed you on this earth for. he knows what you were placed here to do that's why he puts certain things on our hearts. You have to understand that if you are not listening to him, you aren't listening to his voice trying to guide you to this purpose, then you will go in circles. And you won't even be realizing that you're your own worst enemy. God ain't gonna give you nothing that he feel like you ain't prepared for. So not only do you need to ask God to reveal your purpose, to understand if you're on the right track, but you also need to ask him to guide your steps. Understand the work that you're gonna need to do personally, spiritually, in order to get from point A to point B, in order to get from here to that dream. You have to understand what work needs to be done on your part in order to give you the heart to be prepared for what's on that other side. I ain't saying I got it all figured out because I don't. But what I will say is the more that I lean into the, to the voice of Jesus Christ, the more that I lean into, into his voice, the more that I see doors start to open for me. Now that's all I got to say for you all homegirls today. But listen, if you came across this video, it was for a reason, okay? It was for a reason. You didn't come across this video by accident. So, I hope y'all have a good day. Remember to always trust in his word, homegirl. And I will be there for you every step of the way. Be sure to leave me a comment down below if you got something to say. Like this video if you liked what I had to say today. And look around on my channel. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and subscribe, okay? Okay. XOXO. And I ain't shit. Say bye. down the valley pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet teach her how to jump and how to stretch